Dr. Juma and Dr. Fleming. Your timekeepers for this fight, Ram Mahatsi and Brian Karen. Right, there we have our boxers introduced then, and uh, of course mentioned Johnny Deploy, the number one contender for the South African title. Well, Stan Kutsadulu didn't have much to say as far as instructions were concerned, but the men know the rules, I guess. Well, they've been there before, they've faced each other before, they know what, uh, what has to go on as we get into round number one. Ten rounds of boxing, an international fight, Johnny Deploy in the blue trunks, the blue and the light blue. And in the red and white on the right of your screen at the moment is Mike Weaver, the former world heavyweight champion in the WBA championship division. Of course, he is the man that uh, beat Harry Kutsia for that title. Uh, Weaver said before this fight that he's uh, reached the conclusion that uh, Deploy's weak spot is in the body. And you notice that he went to the body with the first couple of jabs he threw. And Deploy's body looks weak, but uh, that could be deceptive because uh, I noticed an improvement in his shoulders, and that's probably from all the wood chopping he's been doing. Might even improve his punching power. He's certainly got a lot of firewood for the next winter, that's for sure. Nice jab coming from Weather. Solid punches. And there's a smear of blood on uh, the boy's right eye. I think he might have been nicked there. Well, that looks like a very nasty little gash that uh, deploy has got at this early stage of the fight. And referee is going to have a look at that now. It looked like one of those uh, little straight jabs from Weaver that might have opened up that little uh, cut. Just sliced open a cut. It's in a nasty position. And it might spur deploy on to try and win this fight as quickly as he can because uh deploy uh, uh, rather weaver's jab very accurate it could open up that cut would cause all kinds of problems for the south african Deploy is opening up, and you can see he drove Weaver back into the ropes, trying to catch him over the top with that right hand. Well, Deploy Not definitely the heavier man of the two. Uh, he weighed in at 98,20 kilograms for this fight, and Weaver at 95,80. So I think that's a bit of body weight. If they do get into clinches and on the ropes, uh, leaning on him could uh, could be to Deploy's advantage in this fight. But at the moment, I think he's uh, going to have to worry about that cut over his eye. Could be. Uh, hampering his vision out of that right I, eye there. I suspect that it is. The, I can see the blood trickling into the eye, and I think that's worrying Deploy. And you can see that Weaver is making that cut a target. He's working on it. He wants to open that cut as wide as he can. From what I recall and what I've seen, it was a straight left that caused the cut in the first place. He sliced open the, the flesh on Deploy's face. One of those early little left jabs of Mike Weaver. End of round number one here at the rematch at the Super Bowl. Round number one, Mike Weavo, Johnny Duploy, and that uh, cut open, so a lot of drama in the first round of this fight. As we get straight into it, of course, this is brought to you by Report, the Box Courant, the boxing newspaper, and of course, you can read all about it tomorrow morning in Report. Ringside, Darren Scott, and with me, Berth Blewett. Berth, first round of the fight, your comments. Well, I'd give that round to Weaver on my card. I think uh, he particularly the fact that he managed to open up that cut on Deploy's eye, and that's going to become a problem for Deploy, even if they manage to stop the flow of blood in the corner. We were looking very relaxed in the corner there, and he should be. He must be very pleased with himself after a very useful first round for him. Well, of course, he's going to now concentrate on that eye. It's uh, a lot of work to be done by Weaver's corner. Willie Locke working on the eye. It'll be, it'll be interesting to see whether well they've stopped the flow of blood but it's a question of whether it will stay that way once the fight starts again into round number two of this 10 round 10 round international heavyweight bout the rematch between johnny deploy and mike weaver of the united states weaver's face is heavily greased Right back, Jim. So far, the uh, patch-up work they've done in the corner has stopped the flow of blood from the blue. Down 
goes Riva with a great drive. That's a surprise. I think the right hand did it. Weaver is wobbly. Weaver blowing hard. And here comes the boy. Got a rush to the head. Love him going behind the neck. And Weaver won't survive this one. Weaver covering up on the ropes. We've seen this before from him. And it's still early days in round number two. Weaver's in the habit of getting beat back to the ropes and not fighting back. I can't understand the boy just standing there. He's but the boy's trying to pick the punch to put Weaver down. He caught him, but he certainly hurt him with that left hook. Trying to open up the world champion. And Weaver's flopping back against the ropes. Left and right's been poured in. Weaver not punching back. That's the mistake he made against Michael Dokes when he lost his world title. Taking punches to the head. His face is now bleeding. Massive blood. A lot of blood coming from Weaver's nose. So those punches are clearly getting through. How much more can Weaver take? We approach halfway in round number two. Mike Weaver in a lot of trouble. Can he stand up for the rest of the round? The boy trying to pick his shots. He doesn't want to go wild. He doesn't want to take the chance of punching himself out because that's what he did in the first fight in the third round. But meanwhile, Weaver should probably is recovering from those punches. Oh, no, he's not. He's he not going to get up. He's not going to get up. He won't get up. He's out. Point. Revenge is sweet for Johnny Deploy. The count is 10, and Johnny Deploy has won this fight. Well, that's certainly Johnny Deploy came back in that second round. Hitting him with lefts and rights. And uh, once uh, Mike Weaver was hit by that first original right and uh, that flurry of blows from uh, Duploy, he just didn't look like he was going to come back into that fight at all. He was wobbly on his feet. His eyes were rolling around and, uh, well, Bernard looked like it was all over, just a matter of time. Yes, well, you know, Weaver is 35 years old. I see he's still lying flat on the canvas, being attended to by the doctors. He's trying to rise now. But he is 35 years old. He has been in this situation before where he's been stung by a punch, went back against the ropes and took an awful lot of blows without fighting back. That's the way he lost his title to Michael Dokes. And this is the way he's lost the fight this evening. They've helped Weaver to his feet. They've taken him back to his corner, but deploy a very, a very uh, brief but Im impressive winner. What a great revenge win there for Johnny Deploy. Johnny Deploy then winning this fight as we have a look at uh, some slow motion action. Here we go. This is how it all ended. Oh, those rights to the chin. You saw the punches that went in there that drove Weaver to the canvas. It was a body shot that started it. And then those uh, right hands to the head. Drove Weaver back against the ropes. There's a body shot. And there's the shots going to the head. Mike Weaver just wasn't the same after that. I don't expect, I don't think he expected uh, Deploy to come out that fast in the second round because uh, Weaver had done reasonably well in the first. In fact, on our card, as you know, we gave him that round. But all credit to Deploy, he came out intent to finish the fight if he could, and he didn't go wild. He picked his shots very carefully indeed. He didn't make the mistake he made in the third round of the first fight. Here's more replay from that uh, second round. Deploy shooting in the jab right to the body and there's that right to the head that sent uh, weaver down for the for the final knockdown he went face first to the canvas and there was no way he was going to get up from that punch seemed to catch weaver slightly on the lower part of the jaw and on the side of the neck well that and punch weaver was motionless on the canvas certainly sent it down like a sack of potatoes so michael spinks